Do you think that it is possible to take an idea and convert it into solid gold? Now, that process, some people will say it's a function of an alchemist. Now, an alchemist is basically a person that traditionally or many years ago, they believe that these people do have this power to do this. And I believe that as a modern day alchemist or a wealth creator, that we can do exactly the same thing. So I am making a commitment that for the next at least 91 days, I'm going to share with you my journey, the path that I'm taking in order to try to make this a reality. Now, alchemist is basically therefore a person that knows how to transmute or transform one form of energy into another form. Another way to, to say it is a person that knows how to convert the way, the idea into a reality, which in my case, for this experiment, I'm going to use a golden coin or a solid piece of gold, right? If it's legal, I, I'm not sure if it's legal to have pure gold, but at least a coin or something that is that I can hold in my hand. And thereafter, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to convert that into becoming like a production machine where I'm going to produce more and more of these one ounce coins, or maybe I'm going to give it away. I've got no idea. But what I want to do is for the next three months or so to at least tell you where I am, because I think maybe some of you would like to know the process. And that is what I'm going to share with you in different ways. Maybe I'll invite you to a webinar or a masterclass or something like that. Yesterday, I actually made a commitment on Facebook saying that I'm going to start today. So this is the first part of my 91 day commitment to do this on a day to day basis. Another thing that I can tell you is that we travel quite a lot and we like the outdoors. We like four by fours. So the chances are that there will be times when there's no ways that I'll be able to upload what I've done or what I listen like this for that day, but I will keep it. And as soon as I'm back in, let's call it civilization, I will do the upload. Now, is this going to be valuable? I've got no idea. Is there a guarantee that I will be able to do it? No, there's no guarantees because I think in life by now, you know that there are no guarantees. Will I learn something in the process? and improve my skills and knowledge, of course, that's the only reason why I'm doing it. So my goal is to become a better version of myself, irrespective if I can achieve this or if I can't achieve it, it becomes totally irrelevant because I know that the information that I'm going to gain over the next, until I can get this right, and maybe it's not even 91 days, but as soon as I know this and how to do it, it is something that I can apply in all other areas of my life. Or if it's something that I cannot do, even if it takes me a year or two years, then I know at least that this thing is not working. And the chances are that I'm going to keep on doing this until I find a way, because there has to be a way. My intuition tells me, which is the intuition I'm showing to my gut, but it's actually a part of the higher faculties of the mind power. And I'm going to use mind power in order to create this out of nothing. In other words, turn an idea into at least one ounce of, of gold. Now, before I start a journey like this, I need to, to sit down and ask myself, am I willing to do this? In other words, am I prepared to put in the times, the effort, the uh, learn new skills, change my mindset, my perception around certain things? Because if things do not work out, I need to start changing and finding ways that's going to work. Otherwise, I won't be able to get there. So if I'm not prepared to do that, it's useless to start this journey. Now, a journey always has actually two parts to it. There's the inner journey. In other words, the mindset, this, the, let's call it the spiritual side or the emotional side, how to be able to control that. And then there's the outer skills that we have to learn in order to get the skill to be able to execute and collapse the wave into a particle. What is that process? And am I willing to go through that? So I think that's the first part. Now, unless you're going to have an unstoppable mindset, in other words, unless you're going to do whatever is needed, 
it's not going to work. And this does not apply for this challenge. It applies for anything that you really want to achieve in your life. In other words, we start with a goal. A goal is that thing. This is where we are. This is where we want to be. The difference between the two, that is where we set a goal. And there's always a time lag between where we are and where we want to be. And that time lag is in order to gain the skills, the inlet and the outer skills, if I can call it that, in order to become the person that can make that a reality. So there's another trick or a concept that I'd quickly like to just touch on. We say that we love ourselves, but I'm not 100% sure that we understand what love means. Love means to set free. In other words, unless you are prepared to set yourself free, unless you're prepared to become a new version of yourself, it is self-love. It is not love. And the same applies to other people. The moment that you want them to adhere to your set of rules, to your culture, to your uh, religion, the moment that there's a, there's a condition before you can love them, it is not really love. That's the way that I see it. If you do not love yourself enough to let go of the current limited beliefs that we've got, all areas of your life, then I don't think that you should embark on a journey like this because we plan the path, but at the same time, we know that things are not always going to be sailing. In fact, the majority of time is going to be a struggle and things are going to happen against us, but it's the learning experiences. And if we're not prepared to grow and learn from those experiences, we are wasting our time. So in order to get an unstoppable mindset, I need to commit because without a commitment, nothing is going to happen. Now, if you know about the formula for riches, the commitment is what I refer to the first symbol of that when I explain the formula is the intent. The moment that you've got the intent, it's like it's already happened. It's now the time lag that we need to move through a space in time in order to get to our goal. But in the process, we're not going to get there unless we master the skills that we need to get. And that is where the problem comes in. People are not committed. Again, if you do not love yourself and you do not want to commit to anything in life, don't tackle it because you're going to waste your time. You're going to waste effort and you're going to sometimes waste a lot of money in the process. Now, I'd like to tell you a little story before we really get into this. The difference between everyone is interested in stuff, but very few people are actually committed. And it's only those people that are committed that's going to have the unstoppable mindset that knows how to tap into the higher powers, the higher faculties of the mind. In other words, how to use mind power so that they consciously do the programming to the subconscious mind to unconsciously give them what they consciously want. Very few people are prepared to go through that process simply because they're not committed. Now, I've learned this story many years ago with my first mentor, Alan Pease. And we did this whole course. And at the end of the mentory, he basically asked us to do a little exercise. So that was in the insurance and it was about sales. He developed the system and he taught us that system. So he then asked us at basically the end, he said, okay, now that you know how the system operates, you don't have the skills, but you know how it operates. And you know how to internalize that knowledge so that it becomes a skill. Now that you know that, I want you to do the first exercise and see what's your average income over the last year on average, before any deductions, what's the total income that you had on average per month? So we did a little calculation. There's a workbook and stuff like that. And then he said, okay, now I want to put yourself in a situation a year from now on. Be reasonable with yourself. In other words, it's going to take time to implement these skills and to learn these skills and to internalize it. But a year from now on, if you're going to do that, that you know that you must do, where will you be? In other words, what's your income going to be? And we had to get a percentage growth. Now, it was far more than 100% that the, on average, the group more or less agree that they would improve their production. So then he asked a question and he said, are you interested in achieving your financial goals or are you committed to achieving them? So are you interested or are you committed? And that makes all the difference. Now, at that point in my life, I could not see the difference between interested and committed. But then he started explaining it and he says, if you're interested 
in achieving that specific goal, then you're going to do what is convenient. The moment that something is not convenient, the moment that you think now I have to put in additional time, additional hours, additional money, additional this, additional get another skill set, that is a moment that people that are interested in is going to bail out. At that point in my life, if I look back at what happened before, then most of my dreams that I had, most of the goals that I've set, I was interested in achieving them until the shit eats the fat. And then suddenly you come up with excuses because the second thing that he says is that the moment that happens, you're going to find up that you're going to come up with stories and excuses. And guess what? We've got plenty of excuses. The moment that things do not work out, we justify why this is not right and why we can not do this. And in fact, why it is impossible. Yet when we look at the evidence around us, we see there are people that is doing this. I see this, especially in business and investments where people say it's impossible. Go and have a look at Facebook. The moment that there's a person that excel, people say it's nonsense. It cannot, even though he can prove it, but immediately the majority of people, because they see the limitations, but they don't want to say, I'm not committed to become a better person. I don't really love myself. I don't give myself the permission to be set free, to grow into that person, because that person that can make the goal a reality is not the same person that set that goal. A massive difference between the two. This person vibrates at a total different level than a person that is setting the goals, the dreamers, the followers. It's a different world. So if you're interested, you will allow your limited beliefs and your habits to control you. Isn't it a lot easier to go and drink a beer with your friends or to watch TV or to go for a braai than to put the time and the effort into yourself to understand yourself and to design a path that you can follow, knowing that things are not always going to be easy. The majority of people are interested in up to that point in time, although I've paid a lot of money and I had to borrow the money in order to get there, I was a little bit more committed than when I thought that I would get stuff for free. But I knew in my heart of hearts that, that this was what I needed to do in order to prove to myself that I was committed. But I did not really understand it up to that point. Because you see, our limited beliefs, that's what's going to keep us poor. That's what's going to keep us within our comfort zone. So if someone else can do something with, and because if you learn new skills, because we are not born with these skills. And the moment that I saw Alan Pease and he was a college dropout, I failed by matric. So there's a lot of association that I've made with that guy. I thought, but surely if he can do it and I follow his system, it's a shortcut to get to where I want to be. So I was a little bit more committed, but on my way from Johannesburg to Rustenburg, where I stayed at that point, I started having this conversation and I made a pledge. I made a commitment, just like a commitment that I've made in 1982. When I was so deep in, in shit that you can't believe it. I don't want to even tell you and go there, but the business was busy failing. I was quite young at that point in time. I had all these high aspirations and I thought that I'm going to change the world and that I'm going to make millions and gazillions. But the reality was that my business was failing and I could not see my way out. And then I read a book by Of Mandino, The Greatest Secret in the World, that simply says, I'm not on this earth by chance, I'm here for a purpose. And that purpose is not to shrink into a grain of sand, but to grow into a mountain. And henceforth, I'll apply all my efforts to become the highest mountain of the all. And I will strain my potential until it cries for mercy. I made a commitment towards myself. That is what I'm going to do. And I started, but I didn't know how. I started seeing results, but I could also see that what I'm learning and what I'm applying in my life is not working. It was only when this guy says, but you have to change maybe your perceptions, your belief systems, those things that you believe to be the truth. What if it's not the truth? What if it's a lie? What if money? Everything that you know about money is not the truth. What if you've got the ability given to you that you can convert an idea into any reality, into a piece of gold? The majority of people are going to laugh. They're going to say it's impossible. 
this house that I'm staying in, I've created out of nothing. And this house has cost me nothing. And when I tell people this, they don't believe it. The helicopters that I flew, it cost me nothing. Because it's a process. If you're a modern day alchemist, you can do, you can change a mindset and convert that into whatever you want. Now, I've never done this gold story. And a couple of weeks ago, I saw a symbol for gold, alchemist symbol. And then I saw that is basically the same symbol, exactly the same symbol as the zero energy point. And that started me thinking. In other words, the creation is a mind. It's, it's a mind blowing experience. And all energy, everything that comes from that zero point energy. And here's gold that has got the same symbol. So I started looking into it to understand. And I thought, flip, isn't this a sign for me to start growing and learn something new that I've never had before? But I also knew because of LNPs that if I'm not totally committed, and I did not make that commitment until yesterday, I started probing my students, for example, my legacy mastermind. Last week, I started asking them, would they like to see the process in real life? And of course, they all said yes, but that is no guarantee that they may be interested. So I thought, okay, let me ask a group of people that has got nothing to do with any of my teachings. So I posted it yesterday on Facebook and I said, I've just ended a, a goal. I'm going to start a new goal. This is the new goal. Is there anyone interested in it? And this morning when I checked, there were 16 people that were interested. But out of that 16 people, I know there's a high probability that there's only going to be one or two that will be committed. People are not prepared to change their stories. They're going to come up with excuses. They are not committed. They do not, and they are not prepared to change their belief systems and even their habits in order to do it because they're interested in it. And therefore, people are going to do what's easy. My friend, I've never met a successful person in my life that had it easy, unless you're a politician. But otherwise, it, the real world, entrepreneurs and business owners, those people that are happy within themselves, that's got great relationships, there's a total, absolute commitment, and it's not always easy. So if you want the easy way out, I suggest that you do not follow this process because you're going to waste your time. And the one thing to me that is most precious, perhaps, is time, because we've got a limited amount of it. So I'm prepared to put this in for that one or two people that are committed in order to change themselves. Now, I'm not going to teach you the skills. That's not my function. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing in broad, because everyone is on a different journey. Now, of course, there are blueprints that I'm teaching my students, but those are the people that are seriously committed. You're not going to end up there if you are not totally committed. Now, what about commitment? Alan Pease went on and he said that if you're committed, you will take action in spite of your doubts and your fears. I've got no idea what's going to happen over the next months, two months, year, two years. I'm not sure that I'll be able to convert that. Uh, my gut tells me that I'll be able to do it but I'm not sure that I'll be able to do it. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Am I going to give it away or am I going to take this and say, okay, let's turn this into, let's call it a business and let's take the business and put it into investment. Maybe there's more teaching and maybe if you're still listening to me, you can tell me if you'd like to see and follow that whole process, because otherwise I think I'm going to do it, give it away. And that's going to be the end, but at least I'll tell you guys, and now my legacy mastermind students are in the bouncy because they will see this whole process. So it's a new commitment that I'm making at this stage. If you are committed, you will upgrade your skill sets. You will upgrade your mindset. And that's actually where you're going to start. And of course, your action sets. You see, everything starts with the mindset. If you do not want to adopt and convert into a growth mindset, which is an unstoppable mindset, if we are stuck with a limited mindset or a belief system, there's no ways because the moment that we start expanding, the moment that we start growing, we literally do the impossible. We do what other people say is impossible. Other people will say to you, you can't buy a house without money 
or you can't buy a farm with no money. Just like people are going to say it's impossible. And then through their rational, they're going to come up with 200 million excuses why this is physically not possible. But I'm telling you, that's what I'm going to try. I'm not going to come up with excuses. If it takes me a year, it's fine. If it takes me two years, it's fine. If it takes me 10 years and I dedicate the rest of my life to it, that's fine. Of course, I know that in the process, I'm going to improve and become a better version of myself. And that's a pledge that I've made in 1982 when I read that book with Off Mondino. So this is not something that just happened now by accident. It's something that comes a very long way. But the problem is at that point in time, I did take the actions. I did do the courses that Old Mutual instructed me to do. And I was, to a certain extent, almost forced to do it. But all of that was useless because Alan Pease basically says that everything that you've learned about sales and about the insurance game is based on a lie because it's based on the system that wants you to believe it so that they can entrap you. Now, he was in that system at that stage, but he was also free because he understood this. Now, he didn't explain it the way that I've explained it now to you. He didn't explain it at all. But this is what I understood afterwards is that by setting yourself free, you can help other people to become free themselves and you can allow them to be free. But the freedom starts here. So that is what I want to bring to you. And therefore, if you take the wrong actions. You cannot get it because you've got the wrong skills. I thought that the skills would be the academics, the degrees. It's not true because it's based on the wrong belief system, the mindset. That's what we need to change. And as long as you believe these limited belief systems that the, the systems are teaching you, we are going to be slaves to the system. You have to set yourself free and love yourself enough to allow yourself to be set free. Otherwise, my friend, it's not going to happen. And then the last thing is you have to choose. Everything is about choices. You have to choose to let go of everything in the past that kept you away from becoming the person that you want and you know that you should be. Everything is about choices. Something else happened before I went on this course with Ellen Pease. Another story that I've read. But there I understood that everything that we do is based on, on we choose. It's a, it's a choice. But the choice always have two parts, always this path. But as soon as we start taking that path, there's going to be another fall. There's going to be another choice. And if you add all those choices up, this is where I am today because of the choices that I've made in the past. So if I've made one different choice, different decision, a year or five years or 20 years, I could not be where I am today. Now, this is important because now we have to choose. Am I committed or am I interested? If I'm interested, I haven't made a choice. That means I'm going to keep on getting the results that I got. I said this insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. This is unfortunate what most people do. Why? Because they don't love themselves enough to grow, to become a better version of themselves. Of course, they're going to tell you I love, but it is a selfish love that wants to keep themselves enclosed and protected from growing. And our job is to grow. It's not to stagnate. It's not to have a limited mindset. Nothing wrong with it, by the way. But that's not who I am and how I see it. Now, I love you enough that I don't want you to do anything that you do not want to do. Because otherwise, I'm bullshitting you. I'm lying to you. So my students will know and I think that they can experience it through the legacy mastermind, what my intentions are. And my intentions for those people is not to tell them what they have to do, but to give them a guideline of what is possible on condition that they take the responsibility, that they put in the time, that they put in the effort. And the results, my friend, is, is spectacular. So you have to choose anything that is holding you back. You have to decide deliberately, intentionally, I'm going to let go of it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So this is where I am with this first introduction. I've got no idea who's going to listen to this. I don't know if you love yourself enough to allow yourself or if you're going to come up with all the normal excuses that most people are coming up with. Now, if that is the case, at least do yourself a favor in the comment section. Say to me, honest, bullshit. I'm not, you don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. 
I love you enough for you to have a free will and free speech. You can say whatever you want to. And then maybe make a commitment. Now, I'm not saying that you should follow me. What I'm saying is the commitment is to become a better version of yourself. Is to become an alchemist where you can design your future, where you can design everything that I've got here. For the last 27 years, I retired at 37. For the last 27 years of my life, I'm living life on my terms because I'm free. I've set myself free. I live within the boundaries of the laws. Yeah, of course I have to. But I'm not in the law. The law does not give me the outcomes that I'm getting because of the love to be free. So maybe tell me if you're going to follow me, <laughs> if there's any commitment whatsoever on your part. I've got no idea what I'm going to do over the next 91 days and how I'm going to do this. This was just a thought. I'm not really going to do editing and stuff like that. And then let's see where it's going to take us. If there's specific questions that you've got, maybe in the comment section, ask them. You don't have to like this if you don't want to. I see all these YouTubers. I'm not here to build a following. That, that's the last thing that I want to do. I'm here to maybe help one or two of you guys. And I'm definitely going to direct my legacy mastermind students to follow this course if, of course, they want to. So thank you so much for your time. If you're still with me and tell me what your breakthrough is. Is it something that you've learned from this? Is it something that you think that can benefit you? Is it something that you think that you can apply in your life? So is it possible to take an idea into a solid piece of gold, at least one ounce? Let me know what you think. And I'll see you then in the next one. See you guys.